Hello friends, welcome to Nigra Techies. In this video, I am going to explain how to preview PDF in Angular application using third party PDF viewer. Okay, and this is the continuation of my last video. So, in my previous videos, I have explained how to handle this file response from .NET Core Web API. Using this response, I have implemented this download functionality and also opening this PDF. Let me click this print. See now it is opened in the new tab. Okay. For this video, instead of opening in this new tab, I'm going to handle everything in this application. For doing this implementation, I'm going to use Bootstrap model pop-up and the package ngx extended PDF viewer. Okay. Now let me start our implementation. The first step is we how to install this package. So let me copy this one. We can open one new terminal. Let me execute this command. Okay, the installation gets completed. The next step is we have to include this model, ngx extended PDF viewer model. So let me copy this one. Then I am going to our app dot model. Okay, if it is not coming, we have to include it manually. Okay, we have completed two steps. Next, we can define our viewer using this directive ngx extended PDF viewer. So let me copy this one. So in our listing component, at the end, I'm going to use this one. It is having one parameter source. So in this source, I am going to provide PDF URL. So let me copy this one. It is a string only. Let me define in our TS file. So the initial value should be empty. Okay. The next thing is uh, we have to get this PDF URL. So it is uh, almost the same for our print invoice concept. So I am going to copy this function. We have to create one duplicate function here. Instead of this print, we can provide like a preview. So the first step is uh, we are calling the services and passing input as our invoice number. So once we have this URL, instead of opening directly, we can set into our PDF URL. Okay. Okay, it is added. Next, let me go to our angular.json file. So here in this asset section, we have to include some configuration. Okay. So let me save this one. Now we are almost done. Now let me copy this function. I'm going to change in our listing. So in this uh, print button, Instead of this print invoice, I'm going to change this into preview invoice. Okay. Now I'm going to restart this application. So we can check our output. Okay. See so now, uh, since this bottom of our PDF viewer is there, currently we don't have any PDF. Now let me click this print. Okay. So now the PDF is loaded for the invoice number of 002 and if I am selecting the next one, okay, the invoice number is changed. But the place actually we loaded our PDF is not good. So I am going to use this bootstrap model pop-up. So let me go to this ng bootstrap main page. So first we have to install this package. So this uh, package already I have installed. That's what I'm not going to continue. So if you are doing newly, you have to install these packages. And in this component section, I'm going to use this uh, model. Let me take this uh, final one. Yeah. So we can copy this ng template section. 
I am going to include it in this uh, HTML section and then let me clear this model body so in this model body we can include this PDF viewer and in this header we can change like a preview invoice here we have to provide our invoice number so let me define this one first so when I am clicking this button basically we will get our invoice number so let me set the value and the next thing we have to open this pop-up so for doing this one I have to access this particular content so we have this identifier so let me copy this one I am going to use this view child concept after the constructor I am going to use this view child this content element reference okay next I am going to inject this NGB model private model service NGB model okay So let me copy this one. So using this object we can open our pop-up. So this dot model service dot open. So it is expecting multiple parameters. The first one is we have to pass this content. The content already we have accessed using this at view child. So let me use this one pop-up view. Okay so next we have to pass some properties I'm going to use this size okay I'm going to use this large size now let me save this one okay actually this is our API now let me click this print see now our pop-up is opened and we have to see this invoice PDF preview okay and now I'm going to click the final one invoice 007 for the customer was in Jaffer so, you know the customer name is coming add this invoice number and the product summary so all the information we are getting okay at the end instead of this save we can change into a close so first I am going to use this close event close okay it's fine see now we have this close button and basically this PDF viewer has uh, multiple properties so if you go here we can see these thumbnails and currently we have only one page that's what it's coming like this if you have this multiple pages also we can search like this and we have this zoom option so directly you can increase like this or else you have to use this plus or minus symbol okay and we can rotate and this one is for a print and then this is for download it will download as the PDF file okay and this option is for uploading this PDF so 
you have some uh, PDF files so you want to preview from this tool so you just upload here so let me take this sample one so it has two pages okay so you see in this thumbnail so these all the features are available in this extended PDF viewer okay now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so all video related information like a previous videos link everything I will share in this description so you have to watch it so still if you need more additional information please send out your mail to my email id nigiratekis at gmail.com thank you thanks for watching